Mike and in this video I'll be doing a DVD Blu-ray update. It's been a long time since I've done one so I thought why the hell not. First I'm going to start out with some DVDs I've picked up over the last six months. First up is the Lionsgate Horror Collection Volume 4 with eight horror films on two discs. I'm not going to say too much about this collection right now because I plan to do an in-depth video about this collection sometime in the near future. Next up is 2011's Creature. Now I'm not going to say anything about this film because this is actually going to be my next review that I will post next week is my review of Creature. Next up is a cheesy sci-fi comedy from the 80s called The Ice Pirates. I really like this film. I know it's not as good as Spaceballs, but it's still a pretty funny film and I enjoy watching it from time to time. Up next is one of my favorite Chuck Norris movies, Silent Rage. Now I'm not going to say too much about it because again I'm going to do a review of this film in the future so I don't want to say anything that's going to spoil the review. Up next is another classic from the 80s, Red Dawn, starring a virtual who's who of 80s actors including Patrick Swayze, C. Thomas Howell, Charlie Sheen, Leah Thompson, and Powers Booth. This is a really kick-ass movie and I just can't say enough good things about it. What I have here is the collector's edition that features four featurettes, it's a two-disker, and it's really cool and I highly recommend you pick it up. Up next is another sweet collection you can find in the $5 bin at Walmart. It's a five-film set of the Prophecy Collection starring Christopher Walken. As you would imagine, it contains all five Prophecy films, although I have not seen anything past part three. I'm really interested in checking out the collection as a whole because I really like the first couple of movies. Up next are a couple of sets of films that I've had in my collection before and I'm pretty sure most everybody else has too, but a couple of years ago I went through this thinning phase where I decided to take my DVD collection and kind of thin it out a little bit and only keep the movies that I actually watched. Well, these were a couple of casualties, but I decided to go ahead and get them back because overall I really love this series of films. Up first is a double feature of Halloween 4 and Halloween 5. Now the reason I got rid of these was I didn't care for the psychic link storyline with the Jamie Boyd character. I thought that was kind of over dramatic and kind of silly and I really really hated the masks that they used in part 5. I felt like they really didn't even try to get it right but after seeing these films on TV for the past couple of years I decided to go ahead and pick them up again because they are pretty decent entries in my overall favorite horror film franchise of all time. And this leads to the final DVD in the DVD portion of this update. That is the three film set The Halloween Collection featuring Halloween H2O, Halloween Resurrection, and Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Now I really like Halloween H20. I thought that was a really great sequel, bringing back Jamie Lee Curtis and the Laurie Strode character. And I also thought it was a great ending where they chopped his head off and that would have been a, a cool ending to the series. Now Halloween Resurrection on the other hand, is my least favorite Halloween film of all time. Now I didn't mind the reality show concept of the film, but whoever's idea it was to bring in Busta Rhymes to this project and have him do his goofy kung fu fighting shit with Michael Myers should be flogged to death with a walrus penis. Now Halloween 6 The Curse of Michael Myers is definitely not a great film, but it does wrap up the Thorn trilogy of 4, 5, and 6, and to me it's probably most notable for being the final Halloween film to feature an appearance by Donald Pleasance as Dr. Sam Loomis. He was a legendary actor, and his presence in this film series definitely added credibility to the series as a whole. Well that does it for the DVD portion of this update, now on to the Blu-rays. First up we have 1990's Martin Scorsese classic. Goodfellas. Goodfellas is probably one of my favorite mob slash gangster movies of all time. I picked up this Blu-ray at Walmart for like $7.88 and it's a great purchase. It's got two different commentaries and three different documentaries. It's just chock full of stuff and it's really, really cool. I highly recommend you pick it up if you haven't already. Next up is the action extravaganza from 2010 and that would be The Expendables Extended Director's Cut. In my opinion, it's a great film, and for 15 bucks, this Blu-ray is a great deal. It's got three featurettes and an introduction to the film by Sylvester Stallone, so if you like it and you don't own it, this Blu-ray version of the film is definitely a must-buy. Up next is a film that came out last summer, and I skipped its theatrical run. I hadn't really heard too many good things about it, but when I saw the Blu-ray for $7.50, I thought, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. The movie I'm talking about is Green Lantern. This Blu-ray contains the extended cut of the film and it's chock full of special features including picture-in-picture -picture commentary and eight different featurettes. 
And I watched this film recently and I really liked it. Now, if you enjoy Ryan Reynolds and his acting style and his smart ass quirky little way of doing things, then you'll probably like it too. And I think the extended cut of the film really had some emotional depth to the overall story. So if you're a Ryan Reynolds fan or just a fan of comic book movies in general, I can recommend you check out The Green Lantern on Blu-ray and for $7.50, it's a really good deal. Next up is the Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy. This set features excellent transfers of all three films and has a bunch of bonus features, including a never-before-seen six-part documentary, behind the scenes, including a tour of uh, Stan Winston's studio, and archival featurettes that include the making of all three Jurassic Park films. If you're a Jurassic Park fan like myself, you're really going to love this set. It's awesome. And I highly recommend that everybody pick this up. Next up is the original Star Wars trilogy on Blu-ray. This is something I got for Christmas and I really love it. Now I understand there's some people out there that have a problem with this set because of all the additional changes that George Lucas did and I understand that and I'm with you. I too wish he would just quit dicking with these movies and, and just leave them alone. They're classics and they should be seen the way they were originally made. But these transfers are awesome and I do recommend that you check it out. Now with the three disc set there's not a lot of special features. You have to get the six disc set to get all the features and eventually I'll get the other ones although I don't really like the prequels as much. You know everybody can understand that. They're, some of them are kind of crappy. But overall, these three films are awesome, and it's definitely something that I recommend that all Star Wars fans check out. Up next is another classic film from my childhood, and that would be the 30th Anniversary Ultimate Edition of Steven Spielberg's Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Now, as you can tell, it's still in the plastic, and I haven't watched it yet, so I can't tell you about the transfer, but this thing has a lot of features on it. It's got three different cuts of the film. It's got the original theatrical version, the special edition, and the director's cut as well as a making of documentary and a feature it from 1977 called Watch the Skies and it comes with a 30th anniversary collector's book. It's just an awesome pack and I can't wait to crack it open and start watching it because I love this movie. Up next is The Exorcist Extended Director's Cut. Now I'm not going to say too much about this film. I have a request to do a review for it and I plan on it. As you can see it's not opened yet so I don't know what the transfer is like. But what I can tell you is uh, Blu-ray has some pretty cool features on it. It's got a new three-part documentary on the movie's production and legacy and for the first time you can relive the actual on-set filming of classic scenes and never before seen footage. Sounds pretty cool and I can't wait to check it out. Up next is another series of films that I've had a request to do reviews of, and that would be the Scream 5 film set, which includes Scream, Scream 2, Scream 3, a documentary called Still Screaming, and another documentary called Scream, The Inside Story. As you can see, this one too is still in the plastic and I haven't had a chance to check it out, but when I do, I will post the reviews and let you know what I think about the movies as well as the transfers. And I also picked up Scream 4 to round out my collection of the Scream films, and I'll be doing a review of this and posting it with the other reviews that I do of the original trilogy. The special features on this Blu-ray include uh, feature commentary, alternate opening, uh, deleted and extended scenes, extended ending, gag reel, and a featurette called The Making of Scream 4. Up next is the movie that I have watched and really, really like, and that's Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. Both the picture quality and the sound quality on this Blu-ray are awesome. It's got a lot of special features, like extended and alternate scenes. Uh, it's got a roundtable discussion, the making of Nation's Pride, a conversation with Rod Taylor, uh, Nation's Pride, the film within a film, the original Inglorious Bastards, Quentin Tarantino's camera angle, and a film poster gallery tour. So if you're a Quentin Tarantino fan or just a fan of this movie, I highly recommend you go and pick up this Blu-ray. It's awesome. The Blu-ray I'm going to talk about next is part of the Roger Corman's cult classics line. It's Galaxy of Terror. This is a great Blu-ray. The transfer is awesome for an old cheap film. It's got tons of special features, commentary, and featurettes, and it shows how they do the old school effects, and it's just really awesome. There's lots of interviews with like Sid Haig and Robert England and the entire cast and crew. It's just really an awesome Blu-ray experience. If you love Roger Corman films as much as I do, it's a good pickup, but some people don't seem to like Galaxy of Terror, and I don't think it gets enough love. It's really, it's, it's an awesome 80s cheesy sci-fi flick, so I highly recommend you pick this Blu-ray up. My next Blu-ray is another addition to the Roger Corman's cult classic line. It's the 30th anniversary special edition of Battle Beyond the Stars. Starring Richard Thomas, Robert Vaughn, George Pappard, Sybil Danning, and John Saxon. This Blu-ray features a nice transfer and some pretty cool special features. Including two commentary tracks and several featurettes about the making of the film and also a new interview with actor Richard Thomas. So if you're a fan of Roger Corman films and you like cheesy Star Wars ripoffs, I highly recommend you check this one out. It's not too bad. It's actually pretty cool. And last but not least is the science fiction double feature 
of Galaxina and the Crater Lake Monster. Here's a couple of really cheesy films for you. Galaxine is probably best known as the only film to star Dorothy Stratton, who was a Playboy playmate that was tragically murdered by her husband prior to the film's release. The film itself is a cheesy sci-fi sex comedy. Uh, the transfer on the Blu-ray is pretty good, but there's no special features on it whatsoever, but it's definitely worth a watch because it is actually pretty funny. The second feature on the disc is the Crater Lake Monster from 1977. And I would say the Loch Ness Monster and other legends like that are definitely behind the story of the Crater Lake Monster. The transfer of the film is decent for what it is and what its source is. And just like Galaxina, there are no special features, it's a bare bone disc, but it's definitely worth checking out. Well that concludes this DVD Blu-ray update. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll be back next week with my review of Creature. Until then, I hope you all have a great Memorial Day weekend and thanks for watching.